last uh, video, I have gone through a set of tires. I had a, uh, I had Hankook RS3s, which were great tires, but they didn't last very long. Um, my commute, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell actually, but these are some uh, windy roads. I'm pushing it pretty good, so the tires didn't last that long. I now have Continental, um, Continental DWS. Continental, I think they're Conti Sport DWS. They're a high performance summer tire. Um, I'm really happy with them. They're kind of a good, I don't know, good wear and um, pretty decent grip and everything. So great for this car, which doesn't need tons of grip and, and it has way more chassis than engine, anyways. So um, in the past year, I have I found some sport seats. My brother actually bought a 944 for a thousand dollars that had sport seats. I took those, got covers for them, uh, black leather, houndstooth centers, put those in. I did um, kind of RS replica door panels, as you can see, with this little uh, this little red door close flap from a 964 RS. Um, so what I did was just cut the lower section off the original door panel and I made a new piece, I cut out a new piece of fiberboard, covered it in foam, and did the same houndstooth that I did on the centers of the seats. Uh, besides that, interior-wise, I did a console delete, so I deleted the center console. I modified the area with the climate control and the two gauges and the air conditioning switch in the middle to just look a little polished off and finished, and that eliminated my din for a stereo. So I put a little, I Velcroed a little amp um, that just runs to my rear speakers and my door speakers. So I just have an amp, I plug in my iPhone. Um, I, can't, I don't have a radio or you know, CD player or anything like that, but I just listen to iPhone anyway. So I just plug that in and I'm all good. <clears throat> and it frees up um, nice leg room going to the center console. So you have this, this tunnel is just bare now and I put some carpet on it. Um, I put, uh, going with the interior, I put a function first, uh, shift knock function first with the black aluminum ball. And I'm really happy with that, how it looks and feels and everything. Um, I did, I think I didn't have a hub extender on the wheel yet uh, on the last video. So I put a two inch hub extender to bring the wheel kind of closer to me. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with these cars, but you know, a lot of times when you're in your optimal seating position you're kind of you're kind of stretched out so this kind of brings the wheel within so i can actually go through a turn and and i'm not stretching my my arms um i think that's all i've done for the interior really um as far as maintenance i did a bunch of preventive maintenance you know all the expensive stuff for the 944s i did the timing belt uh water pump all the seals, um, cam belt, and got it where it's not, you know, no leaks of any kind. It's all perfect. Um, when when they were in there, we also did the alternator, so it was having some charging issues. And um, one thing, knock on wood, the 944 has never left me stranded yet. So um, in two years of ownership, never left me stranded. But you know, I've, I've been keeping up on all the routine maintenance. It's not a cheap car to maintain, it just because it needs a time belt every 30,000 miles. And you know, it's an old car, it needs certain certain things here and there. For instance, I just did, um, my shocks were completely blown out in the front. So I did a full set of uh, Bilsteins all the way around. At the same time, I got some uh, Weltmeister 250 pound front springs which lower it by an inch and a quarter, supposedly, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, but it actually sits almost identical to the way it did before. And I think that has to do with just the fact that I had, my shocks were just dead, so I was just riding on the springs before. Um, at the same time, I did MO30 turbo um, sway bars, front and rear, so I did uh, 25, I think it's a 25 mil, front sway and a night or 18 inch or 18 mil rear sway and 
I had to get a new CV axle for the left rear, obviously the rear, the drive wheel. Um, so I did a I did a full axle. The boot was ripped, but I just got a I got a remanufactured axle for 100 bucks or something. Um, threw that in. I wanted to have a little more sound, just to sound a little more like a sports car. So I walked a block away from my work and had the muffler shop weld on a Flowmaster Series 40 muffler. Still able to 